What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. This time we are going to be doing a reaction video. I promised it yesterday. So we're going to get head on to Twitter and we're going to have a look at some of the thoughts that people are making and also I'm hoping there's going to be plenty of memes in reaction to Manchester City's winner, or the Vincent Company winner should I say, in the Manchester City win over Leicester City in the Premier League. So we've got my laptop ready and waiting just here to have a look. It's a great picture this one actually, I'll just pop it up now now for you someone tweeted out uh, but it's an absolutely wonderful picture I love that Pep looks really really small <laughs> it looks like a kid with a beard that's brilliant but uh, look how pleased um, Pep is there with Vinny and look how pleased Vinny is there I think that's I think that's a wonderful picture if I'm honest and do you know what's really nice uh, I'm not seeing many people comment on this but what I like about the whole build-up if you remember a couple of seasons ago, the final game of the season, lots of fans left early. Well, there's no empty seats to be seen. Everyone's staying and everyone's there to congratulate the team on a hard-fought season. And we've done so well this season. I felt like the players and the staff deserved uh, the reports from everyone there and everyone stayed in the stadium. And it's nice seeing all these post-match pictures with the stadium full as well. So that's... Kudos, I've not seen anyone actually comment on that, so I thought I'll be the first. We have got Long Claw, it's at Somtozil, I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it or not, but obviously a Game of Thrones fan, so I can hop along with that. Now he tweeted, Ihinaccio walking into the city dressing room after the game. <laughs> yeah, you know, pro probably, probably Agent Ihinaccio. Now... Ahana underscore 10 tweeted, Captain America saved the world from Thanos. Captain Company saved us from something just as bad. Liverpool fans. That's a good tweet. That's a good tweet. I apologise um, with the uh, any spoilers if you've not seen uh, Endgame there. But let's face it, come on, if you've not seen the film, why haven't you seen the film? And if you haven't seen the film and you don't want to see any spoilers, I do apologise. Ghost tweeted, and that's when we almost won the league title with Grandpa Simpson over Liverpool badge on his jumper telling everyone about it. Love it. That's a good tweet too. Now, Notorious LFC, with a name like that, Big Barry there, you know this is going to be a good tweet. Sick. That's how I feel about not winning the league after the performance of our team this season. Liverpool have performed very well this season, I will add. Man City and their oil money have spoiled the Premier League. Hard-working teams will no longer be rewarded. Now, Manchester City have worked just as hard as Liverpool this season. So we'll move on from that. Man City and their oil money. I, I like our oil money, if I'm honest. It's made us a, a threat. And I appreciate that. I like that. And it makes Liverpool fans sad. I can dig that. Jamie Jackson underscore verified profile. Uh, I think he's a journalist. If, uh, if if I think if I remember his name rightly, he's a journalist. And quite clearly, uh, by these tweets, a little bit anti Man City. Have a read of this. Company starting against Vardy Pace is a watch. He followed it up in the thread. Shows how far Stones has fallen was one of the players PG Pep Guardiola identified as must buy when taking over as manager. So he's having a little dig there at Pep and Stones not starting. Pep on Vardy, it's difficult to control him. His movement, his runs in behind are one of the best in the world. Pep twice been in the ear of Lee Mason, fourth official already. Company has been given Vardy to handle so far, was nearly booked for a foul on him just now. Silver already booked, just felled Madison. Felled, brilliant. Might have seen a second yellow for that. Um, another David Silver foul. Then Roy of Rovers strike from Company. <laughs> that. It's absolutely delightful. What I love about the tweets when I've uh, when when I've seen them, um, when they've done that and the follow uh, follow up of the tweets, looking at it going basically uh, tweeting it hour after hour, so during the game, that's absolutely brilliant. He is desperate for Jamie Vardy to give company a torrid time. He's there clutching at straws, thinking, you know what. Jamie Vardy going up against Vincent Company. Vincent Company, he's 33 years old, I think he is. 
He's going to outpace him. He's going to have a torrid time. And he is dying for that to happen. And so he's identified that as an area of weakness. And how wrong he was. That is absolutely brilliant. And I just love that there's a whole, just a gap of an hour there between David Silva making a foul before he has to suck it up, complete the thread by putting Roy Rovers strike from that. That's delightful. Absolutely delightful. Now, Beck tweeted, Mum, company turned into Ronaldo with everyone's favourite scouser, the crying Liverpool fan. I think it's his Reebok trainers on there, crying. <laughs> what a mixed match outfit. <laughs> Love it. Now, Football Obsessions tweeting out their Game of Thrones memes. I can dig that all day. Liverpool fans after Vincent Company's goals showing Daenerys Stormborn there pulling a face just after Messandes had her head chopped off. Another spoiler. We do spoilers on the JSGC channel. I really do apologise. I'm sorry, but I'm just tweeting for things that people are talking about right now and everyone's talking about Endgame, Game of Thrones, Man City and Liverpool. And that's what we're discussing in this video. I can't actually put the video on this video, obviously, copyright and um, the video will end up getting taken down. But if you go and search for some of the highlights, particularly if you're on Twitter, if you just go onto Twitter and have a look at Company's goal, there's one that's got a brilliant angle of Vincent Company coming uh, all the way in from the Manchester City half. And it shows the perfect bend and how perfect the finish was. And what people have picked up, I think you've got a couple of people uh, heading up the stairs. But just as you replay it in slow motion, you've got this one unlucky guy that's right at the top of the stairs as Vincent Company takes his shot. He's oblivious as to what's happening, and as he takes his shot, he's perfectly just walking round the corner onto the concourse, probably going to the toilet, and he's just missed that magical moment. <laughs> what an absolutely unlucky guy. Oh, man. And uh, he has done the rounds on social media and a half him, and that is absolutely brilliant. What a great spot. Whoever spotted that originally, that is a great spot. I don't know how people notice these things, but they do. That's absolutely brilliant, though. So, there we go. That has been the video. hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, everything's now been dominated by the Liverpool Champions League win, and so... The, it's basically old news near enough but it's to do with Manchester City and I don't want to sit here just reacting to Liverpool because uh, I'm not a Liverpool channel so I'm here to react to Manchester City scoring that winner and so I have so I hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed this video though make sure you leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video make sure if you're new around here you're enjoying the content you press the red button and subscribe and press the bell and put your push notifications on too and so that helps support my channel always boosting my numbers with my subscription gains if you're interested, you can check out my social media links in description below. My Twitter and Instagram, I'll keep you up to date with everything that's happening with Man City and me too. So if you want to go and follow me on there, then you can do links in description. I'm popping up on screen too if you want to go and follow me on there. And I'll see you all again for the next video. We have got the Manchester City latest news coming up tomorrow for you to look forward to. We've got some very interesting stories actually coming up that's happened over the last couple of days. So you might want to stay tuned for that one. ASGC, I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Ciao for now.